You are watching an Infinite Campus tutorial video made by Julie Miller of the McGuanago Area School District. After watching this video, you will learn how to set your gradebook's calculation options and your assignment categories if you are a high school weighted categories teacher. Let's take a look. Let's sign in and click instruction at the left. Click assignments. Then click edit grade calc options. On this screen we're going to be setting our grade scales and telling the gradebook whether or not to use weighted categories. It's going to be tempting to use these fill all toggle switches up at the top but I'm going to recommend that high school weighted categories teachers do not use these fill all tools. It's going to be better to handle each of these white rows one by one manually. That's because weighted category setups tend to be different for every grading task. So I'm going to ignore the gray fill all area and instead begin working on the white rows below. So let's start. For the term quarter one quarter grade we need to set a grade scale. Let's click Calculate In Progress Grade, and we're going to choose the grading scale that applies to me. I'll click Standard Scale. I also need to tell the gradebook that I'm going to be weighting student work during the first quarter. I'm going to be using different folders, so that's why I check off the Weighted Categories folder. Next row is the Quarter 1 attitude effort grade. This does not require a calculation because it doesn't use an A through F grade, so I'm going to leave it alone. Third row is the quarter two quarter grade. Like the quarter before it, you need to calculate a progress grade by assigning a grade scale and clicking the weight categories checkbox. Next row is the attitude effort. Once again, leave it alone. The final two rows are for the exam and for the semester grade. These two rows both get a grade scale applied, so let's do that. But they're different from the rows before it in that we are not going to check off any of the weighted categories boxes. This is because in the exam task, typically students are only getting one score, the exam score. And then the semester task, well, the gradebook already calculates that on its own. We don't need to do anything further other than assign a grade scale. So if you're a weighted categories teacher, your white rows on this screen should look like this. You should have a grade scale and a checkbox for both quarter one quarter grade and quarter two quarter grade. You should have no calculation for the two attitude effort tasks. And finally, you should have only a grade scale for your exam and your semester grade. At no time should any teacher ever click this second box that says use scores percent value. This is for a very unique kind of grading that is uh, very atypical. If you feel that that kind of scoring might apply to you, I would talk to your technical administrator and see if, you, uh, if, if that applies to you. But for the most of you, it will not apply, so you will not ever check off this box. Just leave it blank. All right, so once that's good to go, let's click Save and move on to creating our assignment folders, or as Campus calls them, categories. I'm going to use the example of a teacher who creates uh, two folders. One is a homework folder worth 50%, and the second is a test folder also worth 50% of the grade. So let's start click Edit Categories, and click Create Category. Let's give it a name, Homework, worth 50%. Notice that any folder can be excluded from the gradebook's calculation. This is kind of nice in case you want to create a folder that is uh, just more of a, uh, an organizer just to keep track of things, but doesn't really affect a student's grade. And you also can drop the lowest score from any folder. You may apply these two checkboxes at any time during the year. Next, I'm going to choose the classes to which this folder applies. So I want my two geometry classes. And finally, I need to tell the gradebook that this folder is going to be used to calculate the quarter grade. Once I'm done, click Save Category. Let's repeat the process a second time for my second folder. Click Edit Categories, 
click Create Category. This is Tests, 50%. I'm going to let the kids drop their lowest test score, so I'll click that box. Apply it to both of my classes. And this is also a folder being used in my quarter grade calculation. So I'll click Quarter Grade. Click Save Category when done. Now the final thing we have left to do is to create a folder that's going to hold our final exam score at the end of the semester. So for the third time, let's click Edit Categories, Create Category, and I'll call this Final Exam Points worth 100 because they're, that's, they're just getting one score and it's worth the entire exam. I'll click both classes, but this time it's being used in my exam period, not in my quarter grade. So I will click Exam and click Save Category. So at this time, I've completed my gradebook setup as a high school weighted categories teacher. I've set my grade scales. I've indicated when I'm going to be using weighted groups, and I've created those categories and their appropriate weights. I'm now ready to start adding assignments.